Greetings from the CES show floor here at the Verge Lounge. I'm Jordan Golson, and I'm here with Corey Reed from John Deere. They make big green tractors. He's the senior vice president of the Intelligent Solutions Group, which is a very august title. Thanks for joining us. Hey, Jordan. Good to be here. Appreciate it, Corey. So most people think about giant agricultural tractors. They probably think of, you know, guys sitting up there with their sun hats on, just driving around a field. Overalls, it, bib overalls. Exactly, the whole thing. Uh, you know, Wizard of Oz, something out in the Dust Bowl. But actually, the modern tractor is nothing like that. So, um, why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, about autonomous tractors? Yeah, incredible. In fact, the technology in the last 20 years has come a long way. If you uh, if you make that trip from Detroit to Miami down I-75 on either side of the road, you'll see a lot of green tractors running through the field. Uh, many of them will have an operator in them, but most of them are running on their own. They're using dual correction GPS technology, um, modems, Wi-Fi modems that are in the cabs that communicate between the vehicles, and they'll guide themselves to within an inch of accuracy. We do that in over 100 countries today at John Deere. And you've been doing it for a long time. We're just now getting to the very beginnings of autonomous cars, but you guys have been doing it for 10 years? 15, more than 15. In fact, we started investing in the technology over 20 years ago. Uh, 15 years ago, around 2000, is when our first autonomous vehicles and vehicles that guided themselves through the fields hit the market. And we've got over 200,000 vehicles in those 100 countries around the world that are driving themselves, uh, producing the food that feeds the world. That's incredible. So what's what's the advantage to, I don't want to say putting the, the, the poor farmer out of business because he's still got to got to be helping out but um, so what's the advantage of the of the tractor driving itself well actually it's it's not putting them out of business it's helping them be more productive if if you start from the fact that a lot of farming is very manual very intensive and the age of our farmers continues to grow uh, it's a tool that helps them gain productivity uh, gain efficiency reduce the amount of overlap they have in the field and overall uh, produce more crop with less dollars. So our largest machines would be 120 feet wide, 48 rows at a time that they'd put into the ground. They can cover four to 500 acres a day um, and incredible pr productivity. But the same technology applies to all sizes. So we started in this space by building retrofitable technology to cover the entire fleet, no matter what size or age of vehicle you put into the field. So whether it's a small mom and pop farm or at a giant agribusiness with thousands and tens of thousands of acres they can still take advantage. Yeah, my dad's a traditional farmer. He's 74 years old in, in Northwest Ohio. He uses these technologies. So do the largest commercial producers in the country and in the world for that matter. One of the big themes here at CES uh, has been connected cities and connected cars and connected refrigerators. Um, and you guys have connected tractors too, right? They're talking to the cloud and, and learning about what's going on and how to improve. Absolutely. So our, our vehicles and the systems that we use are a combination of embedded technology, that, that technology that sits in the vehicle, mobile technologies that people carry in and out of the cab, and then we also have a full suite of cloud-based services. So those vehicles are networked together. They both guide themselves, but they communicate back and forth across various vehicles. They also communicate and deliver the data about what's happening in the field in real time back to an operations center that every producer can log on and see from wherever they are in the world in real time. Thanks for joining us, Corey. Thanks for telling us everything about John Deere. I appreciate it. Great, Jordan. Great to be here. And come out to the farm sometime. Absolutely. And thanks for joining us here at the Verge Lounge at CES. We'll have much more from the show floor over the rest of the week.